fact of the matter is, though, that this phone cost $295, required that I have both a phone and data plan, because it is a smartphone, and didn't give me full access to it as a phone, as a email, web browsing, contacts, calendar. But I'm going to show you some of the other great things. Calling an iPhone a phone to me is like calling a car a cigarette lighter. It does that, yeah. But that doesn't begin to describe its real value to me. Understood? I've only got one more phone to go after this, so I'm doing well. I'm moving on to, to let's try this. Digitize. Camera. Messages. Weather. Weather. Double tap to open. I double clicked on weather. Weather. Water dome. High 74 degrees Fahrenheit. Low 52 degrees Fahrenheit. And? Currently. Partly cloudy. Yes. Waxing crescent moon. Oh. Just set, it, set it on the table over there for me. I've got one more phone to send around. I've got to figure out what pocket. Hold on, I'm trying to figure out which pocket I put that last phone in. <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> it's in one of these bloody pockets. There it is. Can you pass that around? Thank you. All right, the one you're at that's being passed around, by the way, is the Haven, and we'll get to that in a moment. So... That was weather. It can tell me today's weather. I can give it multiple sites so I can find out whether my mother is going to call and complain about the rain in Oregon today. And I'll know before she knows what the temperature is outside her door. That's kind of cool. But it's not just the fun stuff. There's some real practical things here. Messages. Camera. Digitize. Calendar. Digitize. Digitize. Double tap to open. Double click to open. Digitize. Scan. Button. Now, does anybody here know what the ID mate is? What does it do? It's a barcode reader, correct? A talking barcode reader. What's the current cost of an ID mate? This I bought on the App Store for $30. And it is a barcode reader. The other day when I went grocery shopping, well, I didn't go grocery shopping. Somebody else did. I would have bought different things. But anyway, <laughs> when they brought back the groceries, they left all the canned food and boxed items on the kitchen table so that we could, as we do in my household, label them in Braille before they go into the cabinet. Uh, we do that very very religiously in my house ever since the day I made sweet and sour chili by using fruit cocktail instead of stewed tomatoes. <laughs> so, nonetheless, so I brought this out. So I brought this out and I put the box, uh, one of four different flavors of rice pilaf, now, if I had been buying it, we would have had one flavor and had no issue. But somebody likes variety and got four different flavors of rice pilaf all in the same box. And I really don't want to eat, you know, garlic ones when I'm eating, whatever. So I put the box down. First thing you have to do with any barcode reader is figure out which surface has the barcode. So it's always side B. If it's on a box that has a clear up and down side, flip it over and look at the bottom. That's where you'll find the barcode. If it's a can, look for where the label seam is, and it will be either to the left or the right of the label seam. Okay? So I put the box upside down. I held this four inches over it, and I tapped it, and I slowly raised it up another three inches. That causes the autofocus to engage. And it went clank, clank, clank. Clank. I was going to smash that thing against the wall. And then it said, garlic and onion rice pilaf. 0.4 ounces or whatever it was. And then it gave me a Google, click here for Google, and it would go on to Google and bring me up the entire history of that food, 
what the nutritional value was, what kind of preservatives I would be ingesting if I ate that thing, all the things I've been dying to know about what's in that box. Instructions on how to cook it, recipes that might be done with this. I think this is where that whole make a cake out of a can of tomato soup thing got started. But anyway, all of that stuff because of this scanner. That's pretty cool. Now, it does more than that, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like I'm selling you a Ginzu knife. It does, it, this application can do a lot of different things, and there are many applications. When I talk to you about scanners, this has a five megapixel camera on one side and a slightly less on the other side. Um, Mark, do you, are you in a position you can join me in a demo? Do you have your iPhone on you? Can you uh, give me a call for a face-to-face? This is fun stuff. Well, I have to be honest with you. Everyone has its pluses and minuses. Kim will tell you, I said that there was another physical problem with this phone. Some of them, and apparently I've been blessed with one. How do you like my ring? Hello. Now, what I'm going to do is stroke, touch the phone. Come on. This did this whole thing. My phone has a proximity sensor that's malfunctioning in it. When you normally have a phone and it has the ability to do speakerphone, you push a button, right, to turn it to speakerphone. Here, you simply take it away from your face, and it goes speakerphone on you. Well, mine thinks that apparently it doesn't want to get that far away from me. So all I've got to do is, is do anything. And it pops in and out of speakerphone. You know, it's, hello, how are you? I'm doing fine on speakerphone. Um, anyway. For whatever reason, my phone is suddenly not talking. And I'm running out of time, Mark, so we're not going to do that. It's a 4G problem that they have now solved with a software upgrade and also um, as the manufacturing has improved a bit. Because these sensors, this phone can act as a talking um, compass. It has a sensor in the fr at both ends so we can tell which direction I'm pointing. That's a great thing, you guys who are into sailing. Though I want to warn you, don't get it wet. <laughs> but it will, find, it will function fine in a Ziploc bag. Okay, so that's what you do when you're out with these things. Anyway, what I want to do is tell you that all of these phones are smartphones. And we have one, f uh, let me tell you about this face-to-face -face business first off. This phone is, has a camera I mentioned in the face of it, as well as in the back of it like other phones do. And as a result, when you make a call to another person who has a 4G phone and you're both in a wireless environment, you can look at each other while talking. Ooh, that's exciting. <laughs> but you see, I'm the guy that thinks outside the box. So I called Mark and I said, I want you to look at me. I want you to look at this Coca-Cola machine. Which one is the Diet Coke button? I'm about to buy oatmeal. I want the quick cooking kind, not the kind I have to stand over the pot for an hour and stir to make it mucky. No, no. Which one's the quick cooking oats? Oh, by the way, this came in the mail. What is it? You know, it's great to have a scanner, but it's even better to have a little sighted person sitting on my shoulder. <laughs> uh, quick story, and then I'm doing the last phone. Kim and I... Kim and I had a wonderful opportunity to, to go to Paris last January to celebrate the 200th birthday of Louis Braille, an amazing man. And while there, we were alone in a hotel room, which is usually a good thing. But while we were there, we wanted to see what was in the mini bar and how much it costs to buy things in a mini bar. 
because that's how they solve national debts in foreign countries. <laughs> so what I did was I took my webcam on its eight-foot tether, and I sat down on the floor and opened the mini bar and had a Skype, vo a Skype call with a friend back in the States who told me everything that was in my mini bar. <laughs> this is cool. And now face-to-face -face allows me to do that. But at this point in the game, both the, re the person at both ends have to be 4G and on wireless network, not the 3G network. I can't do this in the, in the car and have somebody say, what car just hit me? No, no, I can't do that. I have to be someplace where there's wireless, and they have to be as well. But you know, I think I could probably make that happen uh, and have this always available to read to me thing. 